Advancing and Retreating Blades When a helicopter is hovering in completely still wind conditions, the speed of flow over the blade will equal the rotational flow. This will be true for whatever position the blade is in. But as soon as the helicopter gains forward speed, or if a hovering helicopter experiences a wind, then the flow over the blade will change depending on its angular position. When the blade is advancing into the wind, the airflow over the blade will be greater than the rotational flow. Specifically, it will equal the rotational speed plus the wind speed. Conversely, when the blade is retreating away from the wind, the flow over the blade will be the rotational flow minus the wind velocity. This is the definition in its very simplest form of advancing and retreating blades. With a clockwise rotating disc, the advancing blade will be the blade on the pilot's left side, as it rotates advancing forward of the pilot. The retreating blade will be on the pilot's right, retreating away from the pilot. Put formally, the advancing blade is defined as being the azimuthal angle in the rotor disc plane between the rear direction of the helicopter velocity and the blade in the direction of rotation and equal to 90 degrees. Thankfully, there's an easier way to define the advancing blade and its position. The advancing blade is the blade which experiences an airflow velocity equal to the rotational velocity plus the velocity due to the wind or horizontal flight. If you've been paying attention, you will already have realized that with different flow speeds over the blades the rotor disc will produce lift asymmetrically in all conditions of flight other than still air hovering.